King Khan, the Badshah of Bollywood. Do you feel that in all his movies, he keeps playing himself? That is because his image has been carefully crafted by his public relations team, with every aspect of his public persona strategically managed. Yet when you think of SRK, you think of this sensitive, charming and kind man who rescues the woman in his life from the drudgery of her humdrum existence. He expresses love through intense gazes, passionate embraces and soulful songs, which today have become one of the most iconic moments in Bollywood. Overall, Shah Rukh Khan's image in Bollywood industry is a testament of the power of a well-planned and executed public relations strategy. Now, if we were to design an ad campaign for an app like Duolingo Math, I'd break the entire process down into three major steps. Number one, establish a belief. Next, we come to the insight. Math is a part of everyone's daily life and there's no way around it. So how do we make something as boring as math seem fun light and enriching to reviewers. The secret here lies in how we position the app. The strategic route we discussed is one of the many routes that can be taken, but as long as you keep in mind the major points I mentioned earlier, you're good to go. Have you ever seen an ad that seemed a little over the top? Like they were trying too hard to sell you something? Well, that's a communication strategy in advertising called hyperbole. Remember that ad where the guy's teeth were so bright that they lit up a dark movie theatre? Or one where he was hung as the chandelier? That's hyperbole at work. Now the thing about hyperbole is that it can create emotional connection with the consumers. When an ad makes you laugh or catches your attention in a big way, you're more likely to remember the brand or maybe even buy their product. Hyperbole might seem a little over the top, but it's actually a very powerful tool for advertisers to grab your attention and make their brand stick in your mind. Pun intended. Do you think impartiality and balanced reporting is advisable when you're covering, say, COVID-19 or climate change? A study published in Nature showed that in the USA, half of media visibility went to climate change deniers. It is not uncommon for media outlets to make climate scientists debate people who have little or no scientific knowledge. Journalism that falsely grants all viewpoints the same legitimacy very effectively undoes one of the main aims of science, to weigh the evidence. An industry that stood at Rs 600 crore in 1999 has reached a valuation of Rs 18,200 crore in 2022, which even after adjusting for inflation is quite commanding. 